most visitors to Kyoto are here to enjoy the temples, gardens, and the historic sites, but you'll also find that downtown Kyoto is very appealing. It's a busy modern shopping area that features a couple of major boulevards, several large department stores, and smaller pedestrian-only streets, and there's many blocks of boutiques and restaurants, cafes, and thousands of local residents filling the sidewalk. Downtown's a great spot for people watching, especially lively in the early evening when the population has finished work and they're out for a stroll in all their glory. People-loving travelers always find it worthwhile to delay dinner and catch the passing stream of faces, particularly on the busiest commercial street of Shijou Dori. It was so interesting to enter this downtown modern situation in contrast with the old-fashioned peaceful gardens. Here you might even see the elusive geisha as she scurries to her next appointment. These are well-trained ladies, schooled in the arts of conversation and culture, music and dance performance. We'll see more in a moment. Near the Yasuka Shrine in Kyoto, you'll find the most famous downtown historic neighborhood, Gion, the neighborhood of the geisha, or as they say in Kyoto, the geiko. And the little side streets are where you want to venture to see the really charming part of old Kyoto. She is not a geisha, but a waitress in a restaurant in a traditional outfit. And very soon we'll be seeing a few geisha. Although in Kyoto, they're called geiko. So actually in this city, there are no geisha. But for this program, we'll refer to them as geisha because that's how they're widely known. Gion is located between the Kamo River and Yasuka Shrine with Shijo Dori and Hanami Koji as the primary streets that you want to spend some time at. Here you'll find an architectural mix of simple wooden buildings and historic structures. Later in this segment, we'll also bring you into the more modern downtown. This is Hanami Koji, the main side street in Gion, where you're most likely to run into some geisha. Keep in mind you want to be polite and considerate when you see a geisha. Don't try and stop them and ask them to pose for photos or selfies. These are busy people. They're working, they're going from one restaurant to another to meet their next party and they really don't have time to stop for every tourist and pose for pictures but you can certainly watch them walk by a classic beauty of the geisha Gion is a very popular neighborhood for the visitor to go take a stroll and find some geisha and yes you will see them with some patience but more often what you're seeing are maiko which are apprentice geisha they look nearly identical to the geisha, except sometimes there's a red collar that gives them away. It takes several years of training for a maiko to become a full-fledged geisha, or again, as they're called in Kyoto, a geiko. Notice how pleased the Japanese tourists are to see these beauties. It's unlikely you'll get into a club where the authentic geisha work for it's very expensive and there's a language barrier and foreigners are discouraged. The tea houses in the neighborhood often only allow in their regular customers or invited guests. Of course there are many excellent restaurants in the neighborhood open to all serving fine Japanese cuisine. On this east side of downtown you can explore fascinating narrow lanes lined with traditional wooden facades of the historic Gion District, especially along Hanami Koji Street and adjacent side lanes. Be sure to walk a couple of blocks north from here to Shimbashi and there you will find perhaps the most beautiful canal in all of Kyoto. Two blocks away from that busy modern street you enter another world stepping back to a more quiet and peaceful time. The canal only extends for about 100 meters, so it's very easy to stroll along it. It's a pedestrian zone. Walk from one end to the other and then return the same way. Charming little restaurants, some with outdoor seating, are lined up along the canal. And there are a few tiny hotels, the Ryokan. 
It's so peaceful there was a heron just standing in the canal, perhaps waiting for his dinner to float by. The light at twilight is really spectacular, as you can see, so it's always a great idea to postpone your dinner until it actually gets dark and take advantage of the twilight. It's a lovely hour in which you can be walking around and enjoying the combination of the fluorescent lights that have come on, the shop lights, and the background illumination up in the skies and do a little shopping perhaps. You definitely want to explore as much as you can, as much as you have time, and take a wander in those little side streets, both north and south of Shijo Dori, which is the main commercial street running through Kyoto. Here you'll find some busy restaurants, many of them with open shop fronts, and quick food to go. This is Japanese fast food, high quality and delicious. You'll be delighted by the reasonable prices too. Shijo Dori gets wider and busier as it reaches the western end of Gion and prepares to head right through the middle of downtown. At this end of Gion, you'll find the famous Minamisa Theater for kabuki shows, the classical Japanese dance and drama performances that originated in the early 1600s and continue right up through today. This theater was actually founded here in the year 1610. The structure we see today was rebuilt in the old style back in 1929. It has a festive appearance with the gabled roof, turrets, lighting, and big lanterns out front. It definitely attracts attention, and the performances today are sometimes geared for the visitor, where there will be highlights of several different kabuki shows presented in a two-hour period. We continue a couple blocks west uh, across the Kamo River to the busy intersection with Kawaramachi Dori, which is the real crossroads, the commercial center of downtown modern Kyoto. There's several big department stores here. There's a real hustle and bustle and ebb and flow of lots of young people out shopping in the evening. The primary commercial street here is Shijo Dori, and it's always very busy, full of shops and pedestrians, and there's a lot of cars, a lot of traffic going by. We'll show you more of this in a few minutes, including a covered shopping mall, but it's kind of nice to get away from the busy street and into the side lanes. Be sure to also walk a few blocks north along Kiyomachi to reach the charming little canal that winds its way above and below Shijo Dori. Quite similar to that lovely canal we saw earlier running through Kion. This canal is a little bit longer, a little wider, and has even more restaurants and attractive buildings that make it very much worth walking along. It's amazing how quickly the atmosphere changes from the busy hustle bustle of downtown as you step one block into this quaint historic district. It's like you're visiting Japan of 200 years ago. It's a charming neighborhood that you certainly don't want to miss. This historic zone extends for several blocks flanking the Kamo River, especially along Ponto Chodori, a pleasant and very famous narrow pedestrian lane of more bars and restaurants. You'll find some traditional shops tucked away selling lacquerware and chopsticks and fans and other local items. Here too, in the high season, you're gonna run into crowds of tourists enjoying the same sight that you are. But on a December evening, you can have it practically all to yourself. However, avoid the sleazy red light district, another block west and bright with garish neon. Well, now we're back on the main busy commercial shopping street, Shijo Dori, and you see how active it is. Everybody is out, it's about 6, 7 p.m. Shops are open, all the lights are on, and they have some very wide sidewalks here. It makes it quite friendly for the pedestrian. You have some covered sheltered areas to protect you from the weather, and there are even some side streets that are for pedestrian only. You'll find locals are friendly even if they don't speak English. These two parallel shopping arcades are called Shin Kyogoku and Taramachi. It's terrific how they've just covered a street 
and converted this into a wonderful pedestrian promenade. Even in the middle of the shopping mall, they've got some shrines. We found another vegetarian restaurant. This is called Biote. Again, an obscure little location that was a little hard to find, but we persevered. We asked around in the neighborhood, and sure enough, we found it on the street corner. But now we're going to reverse direction and take you back to the eastern end of Shijodori to the Yasuka Shrine. A visit here can help bring you health and prosperity. The Yasuka Jinja is a Shinto shrine which includes several buildings with gates, a main hall, and a stage. And right behind it you'll find Maroyama Park, which we have featured in yet another movie about Kyoto. Of course, it's all very safe in the evening to walk around in the temple grounds with the beautiful lighting. A nice time to be here. Our hotel was located near the main Kyoto train station, which would have been very easy to walk from this neighborhood. It's less than a mile through some lively city streets, but instead we decided to take the metro. It's an easy couple of stops on the subway and we're there in a few minutes. Of course, Kyoto Station is a large modern facility. There's lots of shops, there's beautiful architecture, and it's very much in the center of downtown, so it's a great convenient location with several hotels right nearby. It's nine stories high, there's a skywalk up above. You can, during the day, get a nice view looking out over the city. The Kyoto Tower is just a block away from the station. It's 100 meters high with an observation deck at the top and a hotel at the bottom. Back to our hotel, it's the new Miyako Hotel located just next to the Kyoto train station. Very convenient location and a nice place. This was arranged for us actually by JTB, which is the main tour operator in Japan. And it was very pleasing accommodations, very traditional. The hotel has a thousand rooms, and yet when you're having breakfast, it's all very peaceful. And we ran into this interesting local scene in the lobby. Two guests in beautiful traditional kimono, and then we noticed their friends are all dressed up too, getting ready for some kind of festivity. It turns out, a local gals getting married. <coughs> and she's marrying an American guy. She spoke very good English, so apparently she lived in America, met this fellow, and then brought him back to meet the family and have a wedding Japanese style in the full kimono outfits. You really don't see many kimonos out on the streets, typically as you walk around in the modern cities. Of course, most fashions that you do see are typically modern with trends changing from one year to the next, especially in Japan, a uniform culture conforming to the trend. And coming up shortly in the program, we're going to show you a lot more street scenes of people walking by you can see for yourself. For our final minute of the segment, we're taking you back into the busy commercial heart of Kyoto at Shijou Dori. We're just going to drop you on the sidewalk and put you into some prime people watching territory with no further narration. This is part of our series on the temples and gardens of eastern Kyoto, the Higashiyama district. And also we'll take you downtown in some of our other videos. 